Say hi, Tony. Nope. Nope. Just no. Yeah, I'll kill you. Nah. I heard Nani. Okay. Her Nani. Nah, dog. Say hi, Tony. On your phone, on your phone. Say hi, Tony. Yeah, the red hair is gone. The red hair is gone. What a start. <laughs> what a red, red hair, hair is gone. The red hair. No, I what? took it. What happened? Oh, there. What just is, is it just time to return to back to normal life or Yeah. Um, Dang. Is this foreshadowing to the twenty twenty three season? No, it's not right? actually. Is the no, red hair gone right forever? There. No. Ooh. No. Breaking news. But... Well I go planning on going to Goring twenties. <clears throat> Dang, you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. He wishes he was talented enough. Oh, Damn, we're 2022 Scare Zone of the Year, Goy 20! <laughs> Damn, bro, you just blew my ears out. I'm glad you enjoyed it. 20 intro. sucks. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you're, uh, the awards your mic, <laughs> your mic totally suppressed all that noise. I just came out of nowhere. It your mic did. was like, your mic was like, oh, he's screaming. I gotta. Gotta tone it down. That's how you bit. know you have a good mic when your mic goes. Oh, you're actually yelling. Let me. Let me go down. Yeah. <laughs> ah. <clears throat> Congratulations, by the way. You won. Thank you. Yeah. That is. Uh, hard for it. <laughs> you, uh, you you made uh you made that scare y'all made that scare zone your bitch this year, huh? I worked through bronchitis and losing my voice. So. Bronchitis. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. You are you are built different. I'll tell you what. I I wake up with allergies and I'm like, man, am I gonna work today? It's gonna be a rough one if I do. <laughs> Dude, I wake you are of the opposite gender. Uh, Ooh, she said you're a man. Hell, I I'll admit it. Amen. I know about the man cold. I'm all about it, bro. The man cold is the worst thing. It goes pregnancy, man cold. Yeah. Man cold. Wow. <laughs> I'll say it. I, I'm I'm not even tripping. You're not even tripping, homie. I had a I had a cold that whole last weekend. How was oh, that? I just it fucking suck. I'm tell, just starting to get over it. Tell me why I saw your girlfriend more than you this season. Because I felt like I was dying every single night. Damn, bro. I went I went just to see you one more time. My back know. my back was hurting from carrying the zone. Oh my god! Oh, wow. I, I thought yeah. that was I, I there's a lot of people I could say that did that. You're not one of them. You're not that guy, pal. Not that You're guy. You're not that guy. I am not that guy. Not that guy, pal. But you did from when I did see you for like the first two days, you did actually pretty good. I I had, I mean you yelled my name like one of the nights and we had a big old hug moment in the zone and it's pretty great. Should have we should have been there on Halloween. Actors? Halloween. What? Yeah, it was. But I had yeah, per, right. I had open permission to do so. Okay. There's a difference between getting permission and just going and doing it. I would have done it. I would have got kicked out to give a window a hug. I would have. I would have dropped you. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Like, don't tell you. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Even Lilith <laughs> thinks that's funny. I would have dropped you, bro. <laughs> dropped Damn. you. Where's Lilith? Oh, um, she's gone. No stock key. So, back to the going twenties. <laughs> did you know going into this season that this energy was going to be this good uh, yes and no because they really cemented into us last season that we had to really have our characters down so we really focused on that so that we didn't we weren't scary and so this year we could focus on scaring because most of most of us had already 
developed our characters to a point where we wanted them to be. And our new Goring castmates were fantastic. Joe, I love him so much. Joe was really good. I really liked the way Joe did what, what he brought to that zone. Joe. And no. he would, Joe. Being, being a theater so kid, I just went up to him and I was like, well, you have the the knife. So I would go up to him and sing Sweeney Todd. And he would, he would take it and go off. He would take it and go off running and he would scare people singing Sweeney Todd. Wow. Or any musical, really. Hey, I wish I was there to see him sing because I would have been having. I was having like it this was more the his. It was more him talking the, uh, the lyrics. Oh, yeah. I thought you know, he was, that's I how Sammy and I belted. met each other, right? We were singing songs. He'd be like, "You sir, two sir." How about it? And then he'd put, "How about a shave, like right here?" Ooh. Can you shut up? What do you want? <laughs> Close it. Here. You just have to uh, say it one time. Breaking news. <laughs> so, uh, Oingo, how how did it? How did it? How, how was the heartbreak when you uh, ended up losing uh, the Golden Hot Award? You're just starting to start. Uh, you're just trying to start shit with Carnival now, aren't you? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just trying to start. He's an insider. With He's an insider. Is what he is. If I'm going to be honest, I went into this. I went into the season knowing we were going to lose. Oh. Um. Wow. Not be- let me be honest. Let me tell you why. This is reading. This whole hair dye right here is reading Ghost Town to me. I, because in the past couple couple years, there has not been a zone that has won it back to back. Ah. Huh. So, although we had a good cast, we had good leads. Uh, it was kind of foreseen that it was going to be given to Goring, anyways. No, it was. It was no. Goring, Ghost Town. No, it was between Goring and Carnival. Yes, but it could have gone to Goring or, or Ghost Town won it four times. We won it six. We won it twelve. Oh my gosh! They won. They got it twelve times. I won it once. Well, Halloween was like the twelfth time, so technically eleven. But ah, uh, so y'all had a good man. lead. Y'all, y'all had a good lead coming into the the weekend. I can't. They had feel a my very. They had a very now. big lead. Dang, that's wild. For that last weekend, Carnival would have had to have won it. Every single night. Yeah, to take wow. it. Wow. Well, if Oingo was out there more and worked, I would have, I think they would have solidified that win. So, um, This is an, another uh, hot topic, hot button question um, that you know, we we do need answered, and, and the viewers do want an answer to this. Wait, is it the question I think you're going to ask? Uh, I I hope it. I hope it's the question you think I'm going to ask. If not, then you could ask next what you think the question I should have been asking was. Okay. Uh, backstage, there was rumors that a certain individual ate Chinese food multiple times a week. Can you confirm or deny that, Mister uh, Muchi Vertigo Paul, the real MVP? Was having panda at least two or more times a weekend. He's not on I was board. in the same break room, so he's not ratting on his boy. That tells me it was a yes. Uh, I will. Uh, yes. Wow. I would. I would see him walk back with his, his little bag. This is the second podcast that bag. we've confirmed that theory. You realize that the MVP himself. Which well, Goring, Goring, and Carnival shared a break room. Okay, so go I old, saw go a lot side of or what? Things. Yep, at least at least three time, at least three nights a weekend he'd be walking around with Panda. Oh. If not, maybe every single night he had Panda for lunch. That's a lot of Chinese food. That's a lot of Chinese food. And. And was they the had same- spam masubi during the haunt season. Oh yeah, they had spam masubi. Huh. That wasn't on the fucking menu. It was on I didn't know about it until Booster told me. But like almost every single time. Almost. A good a good handful of the season he had Panda. Panda. Oh my god. This kid has an issue. 
This is a hot button topic that we, we need to get to the bottom. And it's of it. overpriced at home. Oh, it is. Discount. Yes, and 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 the thing about it is, we need to have an intervention with this kid. We do. If we can, if we can lock him on the podcast, because he was and planning to one, come on one by one, y'all will just hop on and we'll, we'll it's secretly an intervention. Yeah, um, it's gonna be. It's gonna. It's gonna be the uh, the podcast episode. I think our audience is looking forward to most. Um, for all our MVP fans out there, uh, we we do want to help him out and uh, expand uh, his uh, his scope of taste buds. Because uh, we really do little... need to expand his scope of taste buds. He he needs some it... Pepsi. You he, he needs, needs some, some chicken tender quesadillas. That's what he needs in his yeah, diet. Because that's the greatest item available backstage at Nuts Dairy Farm, from what I've been told. It's, it's very, it's, I would get grilled cheeses. It's it's the safest thing back there. The safest. Well, the pizza oh. was pretty safe. It's, yeah, they had pizza this season. A little what mini. Are you talking about when I worked there, the food was bomb. I'd get like I try everything. And be like, it's oh, this is great. Like, give me one of the everything. The chili cheese, the chili fries are also pretty safe. In 2019, a lot of people got food poisoning from mashed potatoes. Don't I ask worked, me how I know. I worked there in 2016. So. Hey. Why are you looking at me? You got food poisoning in 2019 from the mashed potatoes. Along with everybody else. Oh wow! I was also pregnant in 2019. That too. <laughs> wow. The funny Thanks. part about that whole response is she looked you dead in the eye, like you were the stupidest motherfucker on the planet, <laughs> and said, "I was also pregnant in 2019." Because you should know that. <laughs> what if I was going to use that ranch? Uh, so you had a lot of new faces on Carnival this year. We did. Uh, what was it like working with some of these people that you've seen in other zones and, and now they're flipping a switch to go a completely different route on you? So you're referring to Lucio? He's one of the people I'm referring to. Lucio, we had Petunia, uh, we had Cena, we had a few from Ghost Zone. It, it, was, it was cool. It was cool to see them go from... Because I've seen Lewis... I've never had the opportunity to see him in Ghost Town but I have heard good things. Uh, but just to see like Lucio and Cena being in Boardwalk is going from something so dark and gritty to something whimsical, but dark at the same time. It was just, it was, it was actually really cool. Um, I don't know if you were there, but you weren't there, obviously on Halloween night. I saw it. I was so pissed Lucio, off. I missed it. Lucio brought out hostile and like 20 um, minutes. Uh, my uh, myself along with Booster had the opportunity to release Hostel into the zone. So I, I feel like that was such a badass moment. Um, unfortunately, I, you know, being that I was working, I couldn't stand around and watch him. But from the videos that I've seen, it was. I only got tight. to see it in videos. I only saw videos enjoyable. too. I, I haven't got to see this magical moment, um, so I'm hoping someone will be able to direct me in a direction of one of those uh, filmed videos. So I can I start to, to see... the right and straight on till morning. There you go. Directions. Did Dented report it? Maybe. Maybe. Dent Society. Maybe Dented. He's, he's taken the Dent Society. a minute to get his video out. Uh, I think uh, maybe maybe Kylie helped photography got it. I think Saki might have gotten it as well. One of them, too, uh. definitely. Yeah, I know she got pictures. Um, Interesting. Right here. You hit it under my thigh. So, Betty. Yes. Talk to me. How many people Don't did talk you talk to my boy like that? How many people did you fool this year with the speakeasy? There wasn't as many people asking for the passcode this year. I think I was the only idiot that probably did it. They were more focused on our newsstand shenanigans. I mean, I've seen a lot of that, and I've seen some dancing, specific dance moves being created for just that event to a certain song. Um, I've seen a lot. But uh, the ultimate come out for me for going 20s was that right there. Yeah. Your middle finger? Yeah, it's right here. I knew it. <laughs> Crazy. Right there. Finally gave me my cigar after a year. Cigar ish. I think some of my lipstick is on the end. I think it is. Oh, that's 
That's wild. Which is why I don't touch that end, because cooties. I was like, hey, you want this? <laughs> cooties Bam. is right. Uh, it's not haunt if you don't share things. That's true. It is very true. Like uh, the haunt plague that was shared at the end of the season. No, uh, there was a flower I didn't get it. that someone spit in my hand, one of the monsters. It was hilarious. It was in Carnival. And... <laughs> So I'm holding it in my hand, and I and I and I call I call Cherry over, and I'm like, "Hey, I have something for you," and she comes up to me and grabs it with her mouth, and I'm like, "I told you not to bite that. There's someone else that bit that." Oh god. Um, Goron Twenties was a a vibe this year, like it really was. Like if you look at like the live band they had this year and everything, and, and the music they were playing to really puts you in that mood and, and in that 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 world so good yeah the set the set list for the songs was a little different i will add some of the songs and sounds are not era accurate and they're actually from the 30s but huh. oh you're gonna, gonna, you're gonna let her be you're gonna let her be one of those people right now no it's important i think that's really important if I you're gonna say you're a some of some of the background noise is actually from the Tower of Terror. I figure that oh. much. I get that vibe every time yeah. I walk through it. I would have never known that. You should have probably never said that, though, because now they're probably going to get sued. I don't think so. You could literally look it up and be like... It's ambiance. Sin. Yeah. That's so funny. It's, it's, it, yeah. it, can't, it can't be copyrighted if it's just a snippet. Speaking of ambiance sound... Um, I know that Welcome to the Carnival was not a, a song played during the opening of the season, but did get added on later on as the season progressed. Do you think that added a different energy to Carnival this season when it was added back um, onto the playlist? A hundred percent. And um, I think we're the only zone with the shortest soundtrack. It is the same sound for on a 20. It's the same 25 minute sound, I think, that's on a, on a loop every single night. And I think it's every, maybe like every half hour, every hour, where the song will play. Again, welcome to the carnival. So, uh, beginning of the season, the energy was very low. And then as soon as that song came on, it was just the flip of the switch. Everybody's just a different, different. The fire under their ass that they needed. Yeah, uh, it was it was like a like the fire inside each and every single person in Carnival was just throwing gasoline on. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Because I definitely, I definitely think like a zone uh, it does have to take in like what the what everything else that goes into it. Uh, I don't. I think that you know obviously the monsters play a very important role. One hundred percent. And creating that zone, but you know with the sounds, the lights. Uh, different set pieces, you know, that obviously adds to it um, and adds to the uh, being immersed into that zone. Um, and so I, I thought it was a, a nice change once it came back. It sounded like a familiar sound um, to me as a, a guest. And uh, it definitely made me more happy when I was in the zone once it returned. Yeah, um, 100%. That, that, that song, although it's disliked by many because <laughs> it's it's just kind of, I wouldn't say it's annoying. It's a good song. It's just when you're constantly hearing it every single night for six weeks, five, four, four to five times a week, it just gets kind of annoying. Yes, um, it does. Yeah. But but like I said, that song flipped something in everybody that just amplified the zone times like a hundred. So I feel like if we would have had that song from the beginning, maybe we would have had had a chance at winning the Golden Hunt this season again. Back to back, back to back, two time. Who knows? Two time, just two like time Doc. Champion. Yeah, just like the Doc. Um, just like this guy too. Okay, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Betty, it was cool. The cigar box, one of my favorite scares. I mean, it's very simple but very effective. Did that? Does that save your voice anymore during season? Or are you still coming out with like a dead voice after that? Um, I'm a dumbass, and I still yell and scream at people so it it saves my voice for like a set so then i'll have it back for the last set it wasn't as bad this season as it was last season yeah because i took care of myself more i didn't get sick until like the 
Man of the season. Yeah. I'm going to give you guys a little secret of what got me through a lot of the season. Vitamin C is your best friend. Uh, I thought you were going to say kiss and mooch. Oh, no. That is not. That is the complete. No. That will ruin your season. Well, not sponsored, but when I initially got sick, I drank a lot of salud. Taste salud. It, it has elderberry in it. Ah. I don't know if you guys have heard of that brand, but it's a it's like a Mexican brand of I, liquid IV. No, I've never heard of it. What yeah, the hell is elderberry? Base. That sounds awesome. It's very good for you. It is. Yeah, it is. Super healthy berry. It's. What did say? A, it, uh, I've never really had straight elderberry. Um, all I know, it's super fucking healthy. It's like a mixture. I would say it looks. It looks kind of like a raspberry. But it's like a blueberry. Got you. So mm-hmm. the the salud it has vitamins B six, B twelve. It has caffeine. It has theanine, elderberry. Yeah, and they they are best based off like you know famous Mexican flavors like or They're all our fresca flavors. Jamaica. Mm, you got me sold. Mango there. chili lollipop, cucumber lime. That's right there. There you oh, go. I've never heard of this, but this might change my life. For it, the might cha- it might change mine too, honestly. Well, he was think. looking for more liquid IV, and he they are off. they are based out of. I think they are based out of Arizona. Oh, my homeland. Well, now homeland. Yeah. yeah, I think I think they do have them in stores in Arizona. I know they don't have them in stores out here in California. Nope, we gotta order it. Yeah, we have we have the <sighs> tough luck of having to order it and getting it shipped. Ah. Uh, yeah, that's that's what kept us alive pretty much all season is a lot of liquid IV. That's smart. Just be careful with it. Don't drink it too much, but you know, drink it when you need it. That helps a lot. Well, liquid IV is not as bad as like pre workout, which a lot of hunt monsters took last season and it caused a lot of issues. Problems. Problems. Zoa. Yeah, C4. like health issues. Zoa's is good. C four is not even better. No, I'm saying that's what the that's what the pre workout that they're taking is C four, I believe. Yeah, C four. C four and dry scooping. No, nobody Wait, dry scoop. Nobody oh, dry scooped it. This I was about season. to say, I want to meet that mad person that's trying to dry scoop that because that is season. you have. Oh, you, you you've met you've met some of the people that dry scooped it last yeah, season last in 2021. Season. I'm not gonna say names, but I won't either. Good job. There are a few people it. that there are a few people that you you guys have had the pleasure of talking to that have dry scoop C four. I don't know how you do that. Talk to a lot. Of people. I don't know how you, I don't know how you would do that. Though, I feel like that's really grainy. I've never had C four in my life, but like I feel like any thing that's crystallized is not a a fun thing to to eat or digest. And I feel like your heart is probably dying. Mm-hmm. And fighting for its life at that point. That sounds just uncomfortable. It is. It is. It is a lot of caffeine, a lot of caffeine, and it's in like pre workout. So Oingo, Sam, uh, Tony, you fail. <laughs> All right, so this whole podcast Tony, is over. don't edit that out. All right, it's over. It's Let's over. go. I'm going home. Okay, you're already. <laughs> you were on pads this year. I was. How'd you do? Terrible. Like, are we talking mega photo shoot terrible or like eh? I feel like I was eh. I don't it wasn't mega photo shoot terrible. Um I didn't hit anybody. That's good. Uh, good. I didn't hit any trash cans. Good. Um there were some times where I would hit some gaps. That would make my make my butt pucker. Of, those gaps were teeny, 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 tiny gaps. And although it scared the ever living shit out of me to hit gaps that small, that's what kept me going through the night. It's just hitting gaps. The smaller, the better. Um, adrenaline. Exactly. In my soul. Uh, I, if I want to be honest, I feel. I don't. I don't think I did amazing. I feel like I did good enough to get me through the season and to get me noticed. And uh, that's all I really cared about. You know, 
it's just to be noticed by the right people. For example, like the upper management people that do like OG haunt sliders kind of people. Uh, you know, I I have been told good job by a few of them uh, on my slides. And that's all I really care about. Hey, that's all that matters. Do you plan on like now that we're in the off season? Do you plan on like staying in sliding condition and practicing to ultimately yeah. get ready for next season? Uh, yeah, so, you know, be able um, to do like yeah. I don't know, jump off a planner. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe next season. Maybe next. Just season. an we'll idea. See. I will murder you if you jump off a planner into a. Slide. I'm gonna. These are fuck. I'm gonna keep asking to jump off a planner, just so you know. Hey, we'll see next season. <laughs> There's. Um, I'll train with you. Damn. Um, uh, we've already talked about some stuff that's gonna go out for next year. Uh, she likes the idea, um, but uh, all this is all I'm gonna say is on Halloween night, Oingo was officially murdered. This year by thread. Yes, Halloween okay. night. I knew that was the. I knew that was a ghost town look right there. I, that's why I called <laughs> it. I called it. The thread killed Oingo on Halloween night. There, there's photographic evidence of this. Ah, uh, could be doctored. Could be fake. I've I've seen some monsters get killed out there in those streets. Uh, it's a real dangerous place. Very much. Um, and and, 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 and I, I do think that is a good way to retire a character. Is just to uh, night night the, the long sleep, as they say. Just don't do a yeah. matrix. Just don't do a matrix scenario where many years later you make a matrix four and it's not as good as the original trilogy. It, hey, he might be he might be dead, he might be retired, he might come back to life. We don't know. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. Dun dun dun. Um, Betty Betty's gonna take the slider test next year. Ooh. I was just gonna ask gonna you that. So what's what's test. uh that that that's that's something, huh? That's gonna happen. I'm yeah, excited. we have uh we have a character in mind uh, that we're gonna we're gonna start working on on this off season. Um, well, two characters. One's for Goring, and one's for somewhere else. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, have, oh, have, oh, oh, oh. Uh, GT. I do have. I do. I do have. Uh, I do have characters in mind for other zones. Ooh. Um, just in case if I don't plan on going back to Boardwalk, they're gonna be. You know. Yeah, I love Goring, oh, but you can only be in the same character for so many seasons before you kind of just eh. Wow. I'll, give you, tired of I'll, give, you, I'll give you a freebie character for Ghost Town. You want a freebie? Let's hear it. Okay, I have freebie. Okay, this one's called the Ghost Town Thespian, okay? One night this Thespian was in the theater. He was practicing rehearsing his lines, maybe practicing on working on his own stunts. After one night when the witch was about to be hung, and a stunt went terribly bad and nearly killed the man. The witch's magic brought him back to life. And he swore all the town would know Shakespeare. Bam. So he's going to kill people with uh, Shakespearean language. All the world is a stage. Yes. I bite my thumb at you, sir. You know, you know how, but you know, okay, really think about that character. You know how committed you would have to be to learn a lot of Shakespeare just so you can be co correct out there? I do, because in one of my theater classes, we had a Shakespeare <coughs> class, and that shit was hard. Yes, I, I did the same thing in high school, and the teacher I had at the time was very, very, very strict on that. When it came to that, and I failed. Oh yeah, I I, I barely passed that because we had to memorize it, and we had to perform it Shakespearean wise, and we had to like yell it from across the theater. So I only know one Shakespeare line and one only, and that's because of the Avengers. Doth mother know you wear her drapes? That's all I ever need. Bang. That's all you need. Bang bang. Bang bang bang. Um. So here's a little, a little secret that I am going to share with you guys. Exclusive secret time. news. Secret time. Yeah, it is um, about a character I have in mind for next season. I'm not going to say what zone, but y'all can figure it out pretty much by what I'm about to say next. Ooh. All I have to say is the Peaky Blinders were around during the 1920s. 
Uh, He's going to Forsaken Lake. Now going to Forsaken Lake. Going to Forsaken Lake, baby. I didn't know he was going to Shacktober. Bro, he's going to Shacktoberfest. Let's go. Now it's I'm gonna be an HHN slider. Oh fuck yeah, bro. You're gonna be the first one. Bro, the first one in a long time, right? I'll be the first HHN slider. Do it. Feel like John do it. Yeah, the only thing I'm sliding into is your DMs all I know, so uh, let's just into, into, into my DMs or into her DMs? No, your DMs. Only. Your DMs. I said I'm sliding <laughs> into you. I feel very your, honored. Your Me, DMs. Samuel Martinez, is sliding into my DMs. That's crazy. I know. Co-owner of the Knights of Horror. Nah, I'm not co-owner. I'm just, I'm just a guy. So I'm not that guy. He's a, he's I remember a when to- he's, he's a shareholder. I, I remember when Tony slid into my DMs. What was it? What, what was it a year ago today? Maybe uh, right around maybe, that time. I'm sure. Probably. Yeah. We're more organized this year. Okay, we're on top of it. Good. Hell yeah. And we got a we got a we, we love- got a bang. This is a, this is like a 2019 year again. We got we got really good guests this year to tell their stories. So. It's I'm, all love here. I'm it's even. I'm love. even. I'm even having like an overstock of people because I gotta wait now. They're gonna have to wait till like January just to like get a podcast date because like <laughs> I, I started overbooking too many people. Hey, it happens. I mean, the excitement. Hey, uh, we, there are. This is a full disclaimer for anyone watching. If you do want to tell your story, slide in their DMs. We're more than willing to have a conversation. Have a conversation. Just just get it going. As a. As, Full transparency doesn't mean it's going to happen this year, uh, but it's definitely something you know. If we we don't know if you're interested, if you don't say something, we got to keep going because yeah. we're almost on 200 episodes of this podcast. Yeah. yeah. Only reason that we ended up talking is uh, I became friends with Paul Moochie, and Moochie I'll, Mooch. I'll tell you this right now. He's also the reason why you guys are here today. Just saying. Oof. Oof. I knew this would be a Oof. better podcast than his. Oof. <laughs> oh. Shots fired. And he wants to and, fired. and he wants to postpone like last minute. So oh. I knew I knew these two were committed. I tell them a down. date and a time, they're like, let's do it. Bam. We I even messaged you like five minutes before. Yeah. We're here. Today's the date. Today's the time. We're doing it now. Yeah. Love it's it. Commitment. And their parents. Anything, and, anything for the homies. And their I parents. I appreciate that. Their parents. Yeah, yeah. Man, look. When you become a yeah. parent, you have no free time. And they made free time. No. All, all it took was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> So the next question I have is for Oingo, and uh, it's when you gonna let me one v one you in that MW two, bro? Right here, right now. Let's do it. Let's run it on the podcast. <laughs> on the podcast. I'm not at my gaming setup. I'm on my other setup, buddy. No, I'm at my. I'm I'm at my multi setup. I'm on the multi setup too. Uh-oh. I uh, this is my office, bedroom. And you turn around. Entertainment center. Yeah. <laughs> this Banking. is my office. This is my office, my entertainment center, my dad center. It's a is, lot. This is my army Swiss knife right here. That's what I love to hear. That's what I love to hear. <laughs> uh, what else I, I love to hear is, um, do, do you have like a favorite moment from this past season? This question is for both of you. Um, but do, was there like something that like stands out in your mind when like you reflect back on this previous season? There's a few moments because I was pretty excited to have – some of our vets back and some of the new faces. I love interacting with our bouncer. Again, he was a new face this year. He was great. Um, my favorite moments, so we have Kemi on. She was in Forsaken last year. Um, in the new, I don't think very many people saw it, but we would be in the newsstand on the other side of Doink Boomer and their shenanigans and she would we would take turns choking each other so we would open the door and she'd be choking me and then we'd close it then we'd open it again and we'd be fine those got some great reactions um we did those with sal 
those were great too i missed all of that damn it yeah that was fun i remember the first time we had a successful conga line because joe had been trying since the start of the season to get people to follow us and i may not have been right behind him in line because other people would cut in front of me but i was the first goring member to go behind him and other goring people started coming in so i helped joe achieve his dream for the season she made that and let boy me, let me, let was me, that tiring let me let me put the record straight she made that shit known she was like i did that shit i helped him. i helped him i did it me 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 myself and i the betty that, Blue. that was that was fun it was very tiring after doing it did you times immediately regret that decision i do not okay no I regrets no regrets Just no regrets not even rag a single regrets. letter no regrets correct no, no regrets regrets mm. all the different words i mean you got to give it you got to give it to both casts this year they did phenomenal whether you were out whether the other casts were out i really enjoyed watching everyone it was it was a vibe it was a lot of fun um and and that music really really did bring a lot to life this year and just seeing everyone interact with each other you know there were some people that didn't like each other some people that uh, were friends with each other some people that were making deals with each other like it was just a whole like i said y'all made this it was like 2021 was like let's figure out what we have to play with and 2022 was like all right let's just jump in the damn playground and go that's pretty much what it what it was yeah yeah as a guest I, i'm being scary yeah as a guest i really felt like there was more interaction um and I, and I felt it across from every person that I walk through um, that, you know, they, they made it their goal to, to entertain and to scare. Um, and, and as a result, they were having a good time. Um, and I feel like that energy was contagious to the guest uh, because you all were enjoying yourselves and free. I felt like when I got into that zone and I got and I saw that happening, I felt more free as a guest, which I think improved my overall experience at, at the event. Um, so kudos to everyone inside of Goring 20s um, on being able to do that. Because I know it, it is a tough deal, uh, you know, being in, in uh, an era, basically, of the 1920s um, and having to figure out how to play and what your character looks like on that. And then also doing the, the, the thing that I think separates it is how do I scare in this? Um, because I feel like that's, that's difficult. It's, it's a bright zone. Um, it's not like a lot of surface area. Um, and so how do I stay true to my character, but how do I also scare and entertain you? So once again, kudos. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. Also, we another, have fog. We had two fog boxes. But another, another memorable man, I, I got to scare Ryan of Bergara like four times. And his wife uh, called me feisty. Who is that, by the <laughs> way? Ryan Bergara? Who's that? BuzzFeed Unsolved. BuzzFeed Unsolved. He was formerly there, known a... as BuzzFeed Unsolved. Now we are Watcher Network. Yeah. He had a podcast. There. Kane and Ryan. Yeah, he had a podcast. Had a on the podcast. Yeah, one of the Fridays. Mm -hmm. I know. Matt Tavora is going to have a podcast there one day. I wish. Oh, and I also gave my dear friend, our preacher lady, Sister Faith, the opportunity to meet her favorite rapper, Snow the Product. Oh. Huh. We got to interact with her. So that was really dope. That's cool. That's Very awesome. memorable for me. Good. That what about, all that matters. You had a lot of fun doing it. What about you, Oingo? Yes. What, uh, what, like, let's, uh, let's hear into the stories of the world of Oingo. The, the world of the carnival. We got to go on hang time. I saw. Oh, we got to wow. go on hang time. That was on, that was on Halloween, <laughs> right? That was on Halloween night. We got to go on hang time. Did you guys just like um, walk through the exit and be like, oh, we're going to take the next one or what? So it, it was a lot of um, elites, leads communicating with each other, but um, one of our leads was able to make it happen. Nice. So <clears throat> very nice. So. Had you rode hang time prior to that? Uh, I've been on hang time multiple times. Yeah. Um, okay. I hate heights. I Ooh. hate heights with a passion. So, I love the ride, but I hate going up to the top and then when it just 
hangs there at an angle, and you can see all the way down. I just hate that. It's almost like it's called a um, time or something. Hey, you would have never guessed. I didn't know. I didn't, never thought of it. Thought of um, it. I would say that was one of my more memorable things because it was an experience. You know, I've heard of monsters getting on like Ghost Rider. You know, I've heard of monsters going on hang time. For example, um, Joker. Hashtag, uh, joke, no, hashtag Joker fan club. Um, baby Joker. Baby Yoke, hey, he got on hang time with Halsey. Oh, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, so and to be able to do that, I wouldn't say with a celebrity, but with a bunch of friends and a, it's just it was a cart full of clowns was an experience. Um, <clears throat> but I, the moment to top that would be the Oingo and and Booster releasing Hostel. I yeah. would say that that is the most memorable thing. Um, and another thing that always makes me laugh every time I think about it is um, I went in for a slide and I made a girl piss herself. Wait, what? Yeah. I went in for a slide and all I hear was, oh, she like screamed. And then she was like, oh, I just pissed myself. Like, of course. Yeah. She did. Yeah. Oh, um, man. And her group was laughing at her, and she was like, "Can we go home? I need to change." And they're like, "If we leave, we can't go back in." And she, he, she was like, "Please, please, please." And then you know they ended up. I don't know what happened, but they ended up going one way. I, 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 I was laughing. I'd be. Should I be? Yeah, she, to- she was wearing black, so I was able to see the piss marks. Was it oh, like yeah. it wasn't like oh I accidentally dribbled on myself. This was like actual just flowing just, of of the bladder. Just, yeah, flowing uh, of the bladder. Yeah, That's there was a nice way to play it. There was um a little puddle on the floor, little puddle, little oh little piddle. oh little, wow, a little piddle. It was it was funny. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I would say I would say that those were some memorable moments. Um. Yeah, those were some memorable moments. Also, something else that was memorable is um, creating more to the Oingo story. Um, you know, Bobbins, we, we discussed this last year. She's my sister. And uh, we've incorporated Booster into our our trio. So we're... Everybody in the zone called us the Three Stooges. <laughs> we were the only trio that... Um, we were pretty much the only trio that was allowed to be like an official trio. Um, but you know, when we would hit, when we would hit scares together, it was just timed perfectly, especially since all three of us were sliders, you know, slide from the side side and then boom, just hit them dead on, you know, creating those creating moments like that and scares like that was most definitely memorable. Some for would me. call you guys, um, or some would call you a devil's advocate. Some would call me a devil's advocate. Yes, Oof. yes, indeed. Oof. More to that. <laughs> I may know more than you think. Oh, I, 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 I know. I know yeah. you guys have you, you and uh, Booster have talked a little bit. I don't know. What you, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Booster. The only thing I do know is I don't know. I'm um, speaking of something I don't know as well. Um, how did you all get to go on the bumper cars? Because I thought it was wild. Because I had walked by a few times and I saw different characters on the on the bumper cars. Why'd you tell me anything? Oh, I didn't that see was, that. That was something our um, supervisor was able to get approved last year because we we've all heard about Ghost Town going on Ghost Rider. And, I mean, the bumper cars were right there, so I'm not sure who had asked, but that's something we kept from last year. And on the slow nights, um, he would pick, like, one of us, or he'd be like, pick two people to go with you, or he'd randomly pick three people and be like, on the bumper cars. (laughs) And that was fun, because we could scare people in the line, and then the ones that were terrified would have to sit through bumper cars with you. And that was fun. I would also just scare people in the line, making them think that I was going to go on when it wasn't. 
<laughs> but there was a girl who was so scared she jumped over the rail for bumper cars. Like she was in line, waited. Did she fall? Wanted to go on the bumper cars and she dipped out. She cleared the rail. Wow, she was wow. fine, but I'm not sure which of my memory lane neighbors it was that terrified her, but she did not want to ride the bumper cars with them. <laughs> She's just out of there. She's done. done. And so I would try to tell be. people that I would it's know. Funny. I would be like, I'm going on the bumper cars. But it's like Sammy and I are going to fit in one car and we're going to hit the hell out of everyone. That car is not moving if we're in the same car. <clears> I can <throat> promise you that. Uh, that car will never. Hey, we lost some weight. We're good. No, I still. <laughs> Speaking of uh, some people jumping over or falling over rails, um, Mooch. at the beginning of the season, one of our clowns made somebody jump over the hang time gate, the hang time fence, and they had to they had to hit the emergency stop on hang time. I don't think I've ever seen that. They went, yeah. wait, so this person was like, "Nope," and just jumped, jumped the, climb jumped the hang- yeah. And they had to, they had, wow. they had to hit the emergency stop. That person got kicked out. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. With, within f- five ten minutes of rope drop. Uh, yeah, that's how you get kicked out of the event right there. Dang, was it that quickly? Wow. So much for paying all that money. I hope you didn't get the buffet, buddy. I hope you no, I hope you didn't get fried and fast lane because oh that's God. where the real money's yeah, at. Yeah, for real. Yeah. A nice cool 200 bucks. Where'd you get cookies? Yeah. Um midway into the season, I was I had the opportunity to go to buffet and oh. um, with with Bobbins. So we I was doing buffet with her for a good chunk of the season. Yeah, I was and, told uh, uh was told by virus that you all made your way over there. We did, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was fun. A lot of fun. Um you know, and we also had the opportunity to go and experience buffet. Um, because you know, we were forced to get a second day off and we got some free tickets. So, since we didn't have to pay, we were like, Hey, fuck it, let's get some buffet. And we did that. So, good. so let's uh, so get bang for your buck. What you guys what was that? Did you guys eat a chicken uh, dinner or Spurs? Spurs, we did Spurs, uh, goaded. Yeah, Part of me just always just wants to take the whole tray of deviled eggs, just taking them all back to the damn table. The deviled eggs were actually pretty good. I got, I got two of them. I don't. I didn't want to take any more because it looked like there was only a single like tray of double decks. And I'm like ten. And it's uh, farts that day. Oh, bad. Whoop. Horrible. Why are we? Why are you talking about? It was. That? Why it, you bring that up? it was. It's funny. It was funny because on that day that we went to buffet, it was myself, um, Virus, and Bobbins that were out for for from buffet. So there was only two buffet monsters the whole uh, entire night. It's kind of unfortunate. I feel it. Yeah. Hey, but at least we got to go to buffet one more time on Halloween night. Oh wait, you went to buffet on Halloween? No. Or, um, or you worked in the buffet on Halloween? I, we we I was able to work the buffet one more night. Oh, nice. fun fun. Yeah, I, we went to buffet the Sunday before, so the thirtieth. Oh, uh, nice. Mm-hmm. What was uh, your favorite that part of fun. working the buffet? Eating people's food. Did you really? I'm in chairs. Food? Uh, if they hand fed it to me, yes. Wow, I made them hand feed me. That's gangster. Can't even get mad at that. That's free lunch right there. Yeah, that's, that's free funny. Fucking lunch right there, dude. Just be like, hey, give me, give me some of that mac and cheese. Hey, give me some of that. But like, hey, hey, I'll be like, you see that chicken wing? Put it in my mouth. Put it in my mouth. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. You want to do it? <clears throat> no, people will do it. I'll be like, hey, you see that mozzarella stick? Shove it in my mouth. I wouldn't say shove it in my mouth. I'd say put it so in my mouth. He'd be like, he'd be like, hey, you see that? I'd be like, get the hell out of my face. Don't even fuck I would, with my plate. I would have fed you. Don't even fuck with my plate. Thank you. If you're working the buffet again next year, assuming you one's going to come back. You reach in for my plate, I'm slapping your hand. You slap my hand, I will grab your plate and throw it against the wall. Dang. And I'd be like, this is going viral. Content. This, is, this is going viral. <laughs> and then someone's gonna ask you to delete it off of TikTok and you're gonna just repost it. It's gonna yeah, and what's viral. gonna happen is eventually we're gonna come out with a story. Yeah, we, we scripted all that. <laughs> yeah, it was all scripted. We just, we just need a viral <laughs> clip for fucking K-Fib. internet. K-Fib. Hey bro. Keep K-Fib alive. Bobbins just had her viral clip go out right now. We gotta make our viral clip. 
Me too. What was her viral clip? You gotta be kidding me. How have you not seen this? This is going everywhere. I've it seen it like, like fucking every year. I've seen I've seen it like four or five Twitter. times. Twitter. Oh, is this the one where she's sliding? Meme pages. Meme pages. It's the one where she tells the person to tie their shoe and double. Oh, yeah, yeah. It. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. Yeah, it's going it everywhere. We're gonna have her Slim on Jim We're commented right. on her video. I can't Wait, confirm. what? Yeah. Slim Jim commented on her video. I can't confirm That's... we are having her on the podcast. Damn. I'm gonna have to I love watch her so video. much. She's Lilith's godmother. Oh really? That's cool. God honest? Yeah. Fuck. Dang, I didn't know that. Shout out. Shout out Bobbins. Let me see. Where is he? Where's Nina? <laughs> Look. Tell her who's Nina. Who's Nina? Uh, Nina? Nina. Nina. Oh my god. Oh, the Snickle commented on it. A lot of people, yeah, it's gone viral. I don't, I don't know how this happens, but it happens. Science, science rules. Let's go. We just need, yes, that, we just need that one viral moment to capture on camera, and then, then we're set for life. And I'm sharing the wealth with everyone. Yeah. You don't make that much money on a viral TikTok. I'll be honest. Not if it blows up everywhere, and we keep continuing to make content like that and make more viral videos. Say it with me. Just make sure Mooch is in it. it make ten. Just make sure Mooch is not in it because then it won't go viral. <laughs> then we can make like Mr. Beast type videos. But Put Bobbin's in the background somewhere. It'll go viral. Well, I, or no, no, if I if I ever become Mr. Beast rich, I guarantee you I am going to give back so much to the community, and I fucking am going to make some of the funnest videos, but all horror related. I hired oh, yeah. I hired my scare actor friends to try to scare the shit out of me in a maze that I had built. This is what went down. <laughs> Science. Everyone gets a fucking paycheck. Everyone gets to scare, and we're making a video. You heard it hey. here first. Breaking why just, news. Why, why not just make it a, a year-round haunt event? That is that is my grander vision. But right now we just hit twenty nine hundred subscribers, so I'm happy 2, about 900. that. Twenty nine hundred <laughs> subscribers. I still don't know how people watch this. I got either. a she from Lilith. Hey, she! She! <laughs> I, I don't know why people continue to watch us, but for those who hey, much love, this much round, love. We, we love you so much and we appreciate it. Much love. Every year. This is my third, my third time. It's not because of Mooch, that's why. Yeah, it's not because this of is the Mooch hating podcast. I know. I'm sorry, Mooch. Yes. If you're watching this, like it's, it's all, all love, jokes. baby. It's all jokes. Hey, it's all should love. I expose his feet? Hashtag Fuchi <laughs> Mushi. <laughs> I have, I have, I have, I have Only Mooch pics. I do. Oh, yeah. oh, bro, you can just—I could show you the TikTok that's on. Hey, I have Mooch feet pics. Hey, straight, straight from the source. Feetfinder.com. Feetfinder.com. Buckyourfeet.com. 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 Okay. Dang. It just went from haunt to foot fetish. Hey. Whoa. Feels like I'm in a Quentin Tarantino movie all of a sudden. <laughs> Love Quentin Tarantino. If you know, you know. Just Wait. Saying. You know. Going going back to working, not working on the 30th and going as guests, I still got to kill Sister Faith, and that was really fun. Huh. Yeah, I, I think I died twice in our in two of our death scenes. Yeah. I'm sorry. But you guys die every night. Video. So is this a special death, or is it just like your normal, oh, clock strikes a certain time, time to die? Yeah, it was every 45 minutes when the band wasn't playing except uh, a cast our first set is an hour and 30 minutes so we have two death scenes we had one at 7 15 and 7 45 i caught one i caught two got two of them what, what, since you both work on the back side of the park do you all see a lot of foot traffic towards the beginning of the night or do you think that a lot of that foot no. traffic is not there that foot traffic is not there till the end of the night. Yeah. Our first, like, the first 45 minutes of our set is dead. We don't get people in Goring until, like, 8, eight o'clock. That's not true. I went straight there. Well, we do have, not a lot of people know, we have a mini rope drop. Oh, do you? In Western. At Western, yeah. They open up Western. I, You know what? Oh, when the I did not know that, and now that makes me want to enter through Western. Just to see that. It's not open every night, though, is it? It seemed like it was almost every single night, even on the nights where it wasn't packed. It was open every single night, and we had 
Thursdays and Sundays, we had a specific way that we would open and Fridays and Saturdays, we had a specific way we would do it. Oh, so like Thursdays and Sundays, we would walk to a certain point and just stand there. And Fridays and Saturdays, we would run at you. Would it be the same audio that you hear in Ghost Town only over here? No. Or you guys had your own audio? It was our going backtrack. Okay. And our supervisor would just tell us to go get him. Or we would. Run, rabbit, run. Get the purge alarm going off and bam. Towards the the end of the season, we all started killing each other for our death scenes instead of reliving our deaths, which was really fun. I'm hoping. You'd get to kill people that you normally wouldn't. I'm hoping that we get a, a you smacking him on camera for the podcast. That'd be hilarious. No violence. Violence is not what? the answer. Oh my goodness. Oh. Someone got into the Oreos. Oreo. Let's go. Oreo. 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 She's got the teeth. Look at the little chocolate teeth. He said no thank you. Okay, say bye. So going into the 50th. Yes. Yes. It's, it's gonna be a, a lot of returning people. I'm I'm hearing rumors right now. You know, I mean, what it's do you? Just what do you rumors. It is, you know, but rumors sometimes can be true, man. And it's the 50th anniversary. Rumor has it. Yes, but they have changed things. They have. Yeah. In I'm terms of auditioning. Won't. No, they have. They have. So everyone has a fair shot. Oh. But everybody does have a fresh shot. What's it? What's it? What's your now? What's your levels of being nervous going into this? Where's that at for now? Um, uh, me personally, I am not nervous at all until the day of the audition. That's if we have to re Well, I'm pretty sure if they don't force everyone to audition, it's going to be like it was in 2019 and it's you re audition. If you, if you want, you want a new spot. Yeah. If you want to go somewhere or... new. Yeah, just... You want to say hi? Yeah. Say hi, Tony. <laughs> she just confirmed she's going to okay, be... Bye. She's sliding in Ghost Town next season. Yeah. Hell no. Hell. got to do her first year in Boardwalk. What if she love goes, you. What if she goes straight to Ghost Town? I would kill her. Damn. She'd be a proud dad. I want to show you soda. Yeah, I'll kill you. Show you. You want soda? Okay. Say please. By the way, for all those watching at home, he doesn't really mean it. He just talks like that, period. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I don't. It's all love, baby. It's all love. But yeah, if, if her first year is in Ghost Town, I will be proud of her. Okay, I'm sorry. Parent goals. I hope they put us either all together or at least one of us with her. Can you like put her away? Huh? Can you like put her away? <laughs> she said, "Put her away." Well, we gotta keep that, We gotta keep that health 100. percent So by the time you're 50, you, your body still looks like it's 25. Oh yeah. Oh my god, I'm, I'm expecting an eight pack on you, bro. Hey, I'm gonna start getting. I'm gonna start hitting the gym soon. I can see it, bro. All right, I, I need to. I mean, we gotta, we gotta look like, we gotta look better than Lilith will at the age of eighteen, right there. You know, just like y'all gotta be like, bro, we're fifty and we look like we're twenty five and we're still doing this. Well, I'll be forty two when Lilith is eighteen. Okay, well, forty two. That's, that's young. young. That's young. I'll still be sliding, sliding. Take care of your Good. knees, because as you get older, it just doesn't get better. Stretch. Epsom salt baths. I was told you should, you know, follow a, a certain program. So you don't get oh, your yeah, body we, all, we all heard that. If it starts with an S and it's two words, I will not support this program. Nights of Horror. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'll support uh, that program. You, you got you to gotta go out when you want to go out, not when your body tells you. You should just make his infomercial. I should. should be like, hey, I'd be happy to. hire me and I'll, I'll make an infomercial for you. I'll do the first one free. The first one's always free. Yeah, but if if it if this program is has mooch in it, I will not be joining the program. Okay. 
No, he does. He does solo one on one, so you don't have to worry about Mooch. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I'll join this program then. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Dedication. Love that. Boingo and Betty Boop. Thank you guys so much for what you guys brought to the table this season. You guys killed it out there. Um, Oingo, I only got to see you like twice, but uh, Betty, I oh. I saw you. I saw you a lot. You were actually like the poster kid for a lot of my Goring Twenties content. So, you know, next year. Yeah, and next uh, year. a big congratulations on winning Scare Zone of the Year. That is a that is a huge uh, comeback. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> you won it last it year. She gets it this year. Okay. Now you guys can say you guys both have held a title. Congratulations. Thank you. Just enjoy it a little bit more because it is more fresh for you. <laughs> yes. And you got but our our bank <sighs> our little thing won't be as grand as Carnival's last year. Damn. They're on a budget. Ballin on a budget. I wonder why. <clears throat> Chevron policy. Anyway. Don't forget the bag policy. And the bag policy, yeah. The best policy. <laughs> Is honesty. Brown policy. Uh, honesty is the best policy. Come but on. uh no, thank you guys so much and, and it's always a pleasure having you guys on the show. I think you guys both have done is this both your third time? My third one. Sure it's second. It'd be now your I've third. Been on his podcast. Y'all thing. did y'all did a mindless horror, shoot the shit, and now back on mindless horror. Hey. We gotta do a shoot the ship with the boys. They're uh they're our current um whatchamacallit, Sammy. Our uh, Grand Slam podcasters. Let's go. It's the hat trick. Uh, right there. Grand Slam. Well, what was that one show we had where you had people like take you through like different uh, mazes? Because I don't really make them a Grand Slam. Maze where they, they pick. No, no, no. Not Maze Treatments. The one where honors like, react. they were, like, Honors React. Bring yeah. it back. That'll really bring it bring back. It back bring so it we back. can get them towards the Grand Slam. Bring it back. You want to be on Honors React? Y'all got favorite mazes? All right, let's yeah. fucking do it. Let's do it. I don't have a favorite maze. I Better love them all. It. Better you find gotta, You got to choose one for the reaction. Yeah. Damn. Why don't you just Big choose one. one for me? I'll help you. I don't know what you all like. Right. I like you. Betty's like, I got it. Right here. Got it. So you yeah, can take us back to a maze from 1927. What's okay, unofficial? See, for me, if you want a good reaction, you got you to gotta pick a maze between like 2014 and 2017 because we started doing hot in 2018 because i stopped Wait. going to well, haunt in like that's, 2014. it doesn't necessarily have to just be knots either it could be any haunt haunted you know it could be any haunt that you've been to it doesn't have to just be knots yep. i've only been to universal and knots got it we're, we're not gonna do howl or scream oh we did uh we did queen mary right. i've been there twice we got some stories about the queen mary lullaby Lullaby. <laughs> was two mazes where you got touched. Room B three one four, B three forty, B three forty. That's what it is. B three forty. He said B three one four. Wasn't it lullaby? <laughs> what? It was lullaby too? B three forty is the one where I got drunk. He said that shit with so much comedy. He's like B three one four, B three one four. Fake fan. Fake fan. Fake fan. All right. Well, um, yeah. if if you are a fan of this show, go ahead and drop a like, um, and then go ahead and drop a comment yeah. down here. Hit that like button as always. Uh, hit it. Drop a comment down below if uh, the young Oingo or Betty Boop scared you or gave you a, a entertaining moment this past season. If you haven't done so already, um, hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to three thousand now because we just surpassed twenty nine hundred. Road uh, so to WrestleMania. Smash that subscribe. Smash that subscribe button. And turn those bell notifications on so you can watch all of our great content and be notified because we've got more great content coming your way for Scare Actor Appreciation Month presented by the Mindless Horror Podcast. Uh, last but certainly not least, go ahead and follow us on Twitter at Nights of Horror, on Instagram at The Nights of Horror, or on TikTok and make one of our clips go viral at The Nights of Horror. Let's go. With all that now- being said, if you're not down with that, we got two words for you. Peace. Goodbye. Peace.